And the next game launching on November 23rd is Mindbug, and this is a two-player competitive strategy card game that has a few designers to its name, but the one that stands out the most is Richard Garfield because this is the same designer that created King of Tokyo and also Magic the Gathering, as well as a whole whack of other games as well. And whenever I do see a really well established designer's name with a bunch of other designers that I'm not so familiar with, I do take that with a grain of salt because I'm never actually sure how involved they were with the project. And regardless of all that, I did take a look at the rules and they look incredible, so this one's going to be my pick of the week. And there are a lot of interesting design decisions going on in this game, and I'll even go out on a limb here and say that this is probably the most depth to complexity that I've seen in a competitive strategy card game. This game just really seems to take all the good parts out of strategy card games, makes it super streamlined, and removes all the fiddliness. And it all just fits in a single tuck box, which I assume is going to make it really affordable, easy to play, and super easy to transport. And this game uses a single shared deck of 48 creature cards that both players are going to be drawing from, but you only draw from it at the start of the game. Players are going to be drawing 5 cards into their own personal draw deck, and then they're going to be drawing 5 cards into their hand. So you only have 10 creature cards to play this entire game with. But you do have two more cards that you will be able to use, and those are your personal mind bug cards, and I'll get back to those shortly. But in this game, players will be taking turns performing just one action from two possible options, and the two options are to either play a card from your hand out onto the board, or to attack with one of the creatures that you already have out on the board. And playing a card in this game doesn't require any resources and there's no deck building, so it's really quick to ramp up and you can just go ahead and play whatever you like. But if you do attack your opponent, your opponent can choose to defend against that card with one of the creatures that they have out on the board already. Even though the turns are already super quick in this game, I really like this because it adds another decision that your opponent can make even when it's not their turn. And this game just does away with all the fiddly health, strength, and energy trackers because when two cards attack each other, it's just the one with the highest strength that wins and the lower strength simply gets discarded. But if your opponent can't defend against your attack, or if they just choose not to, they're going to take a hit of damage, and each player only has 3 health for the entire game, and if you go down to 0, then you lose the game. And similar to Keyforge, some of these cards will have some different effects and abilities that get triggered at certain event triggers in the game. For example, they could trigger when you're attacking, being attacked, or when you put that card out into play. There's also five different keywords that can show up on different characters, and you can actually have more than one keyword on a single character, but I'll just go through each of those quick. The first one is the Frenzy keyword, and this allows a player to attack twice if it wasn't killed on the first attack. And then there's the Hunter keyword, which allows the attacking player to decide which of your opponent's cards are going to defend against your attack. And then there is the Poisonous, which is going to always kill your enemy opponent, no matter if their strength is higher or lower than yours. And then there's Sneaky, which can only be blocked by other sneaky creatures. And then there is the Tough keyword, which essentially gives that character a second life. But what really makes this game interesting is the addition of these mind bug cards that I mentioned earlier. Each player is just going to have two of these, but what they allow you to do is to steal a card from your opponent. So anytime that your opponent puts a new card into play, if you still have some mind bug cards left, you can choose to discard that mind bug card in order to take control of your opponent's card and bring it onto your side of the board permanently where you can use it to attack and defend. This adds a really interesting dynamic with some light bluffing where players are going to be trying to play cards that either they don't think their opponent is going to try to mind bug or they're going to try and bait their opponent with certain cards that they do want them to mind bug because they have better cards in their hand that they'd rather keep for themselves. But then at the same time, using both your mind bug cards too early means that you don't have that trick up your sleeve for the rest of the game. So this game just sounds incredibly well designed to me, but I did want to be sure, so I checked out the ratings over on the ratings tab, and there are quite a lot there. But what we really want to see are the people that actually played the game, so I'm just going to filter down to the ones that have comments. And there are a ton of great reviews here from people that have played the game. And if we look at the ratings breakdown, nearly all of them are above a 5, and most of them are at 8 and higher, which is probably one of the best rating spreads that I've seen on mostly any games. And I'm not saying that this game is going to blow you away or be one of the best games ever made, but for how simple it is, I think it's going to pack quite a punch, a masterpiece for what it is, and it fixes a lot of the issues that I had with Keyforge, and I'm nearly 100% that I would just always rather play this than Keyforge, so I will probably buy this and get rid of all my Keyforge decks. And if cleaning up my shelf doesn't earn you a pick of the week, I don't know what does. Super excited for this one. If it looks interesting to you, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below.